The evidence is clear. Development assistance does further our national security and our economic interests. But as so many of you know, and if so many of you have lived your lives to prove, it is also a core expression of our basic values. When we prevent violence and genocide in southern Sudan, respond to 200,000 people dying in an earthquake in Port-au-Prince, or help Afghan girls return to school after years of oppression and exclusion, we are expressing American values. When Americans, when Americans see a neighbor in need or witness suffering and injustice abroad, we respond, we mobilize, we act. That's what it means to be American. As we speak today, USAID staff are positioned on the Tunisian and Egyptian borders of Libya, helping tens of thousands of migrants return to their home countries, seek refuge, safety, food, and shelter. We do all of that work through partners like CARE and our other NGO, private sector, and corporate partners that make this possible. We're just a convening entity and an entity that organizes ourselves to be able to execute that. But when we respond to those crises, we're expressing who we are. And the fact that more than half of all families in this country responded directly and gave directly to the earthquake uh, response in Haiti is evidence of the fact that we are on the right side of responding and on the right side of representing the values of the American people. Because development assistance is so central to who we are, what we represent, and what we aspire to, we have realized that we just have to do it better. We have made reform of our development approach a central tenet of this administration. And I'll speak to you today on behalf of USAID, but every development entity, PEPFAR, MCC, OPIC, all of the organizations that make, our, make investments to generate results around the world have been part of the same process of rigorous review and renewal. 